Okay, you guys, we got David, Jake, Blue Gabe, and your boy for dinner, and we are going shrimping. I'm really excited. I have never been shrimping, and as you can tell, the hat's backwards, which means grandma has the kids, and mama has a night out. Where are we going? We're going to Popeyes. How's that it's... theme song go? Um. <laughs> I was listen. I was on. You guys are all high singing it. We're all like. Ugh. I was on. I was on a plane going to West Virginia this week, and I this this little lady, she's like 75, sitting next to me. I said, "So, what is your favorite place to eat?" She goes, "Oh, Popeye's chicken." I'm like, "No way!" She was like the cutest thing ever. Love that chicken and Popeye's. That's how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> oh, I want a three-piece all dark meat spicy chicken meal, please. Look at that. That's an old school waiting table skills right there. Okay. Hi. We picked up a stranger. Hello, I'm Kimmy. <laughs> I'm a stranger. You no, know, you gotta tell her how Kim's boyfriend's been out there since five holding our spot. Oh yeah, he left at five to go save us a good spot. So we're gonna Which do way? And what time is it you guys? It is 7.51. Jake said comment down below to see who's gonna catch most shrimp, but you can't comment, so check out Instagram, dear mom. I've got my plane up in the air right now looking for shrimp for us. There said some real monsters around here. Okay, while we're getting set up, I have to give a shout out to my next door neighbor, Jamie. She just called me. We're up in Melbourne. We're like, we're an hour and a half away from our house, and both my horses are out. She fixed the problem, shut the front gates, got everything situated. So, Jamie, you rock. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I've never been this close to a side opening bridge. So, everyone's talking, it's noisy, but I'm really excited because I've never done this before. And bow fishing was one of my all time favorite things to do in Wisconsin. But you went out at night, you used lights, and it was like epic. Okay, hold this on. reminds Where's me a lot of that. Me, honey? Hold on, no smirky, snarky no. remarks. No smirky, crazy remarks. This is just spitting the truth. And I'm gonna turn around so you don't get the lights on me. This is me, and I know y'all call her dear mom and you call me dear meat, but she is my wife and I'm her husband. And before we were that, the first time I ever laid eyes on her, <laughs> I was uh, I was back home and I get this friend request from this hot blonde holding this gigantic carp. I was like, good lord. <laughs> I was, love at first sight. Yeah, so next thing you know, sent her an, a message and uh, flew up to Madison, Wisconsin. Next thing you know, she's pregnant. We got a kid on the way. Hold on, we got married first. <laughs> what do we need, babe? A guitar. A what? Like a six string guitar, you know? <laughs> a guitar, a guitar. We need a guitar. What's the purpose of the green light, Gabe? Talk to me so quick. The shrimp are swimming along the bottom, or at least mid water, and the lights are down near the bottom. He's gonna get to that light and naturally shoot up and then get in our catching distance. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I got one. Booyah! First shrimp. Honey, I'm on the board. Do you have one yet? Not yet. Oh, another one. Oh. Booyah! Two. Two, to two. Okay, Jake just said tie two to two, so guess what? Competition is on. That's a big one. Good. Good. Yes. Jake's on the board. Again. You're up by one, Jake. Okay. Game on, you guys. Stealth mode, you guys. You like that? Four to four. One. This was my fourth one, so okay. Bailey, what do you got rigged up over there? Uh, You're about to be on dear mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're <No. laughs> I love it. No. Did you get it? No, he's, coming right he's coming towards me? Yeah. Where is he? Oh, no, I don't, but I see I see now. Hold on. Oh my god, I can't film with you this at the same time. I don't know. Oh, is that him right there? No, that's not. Is he? Oh, he's in there. I did get him. Booyah. Thanks, guys. Jake, you know what that means? We tied. You can tell everything slowed down when the cameraman is fishing. 
<laughs> that we're waiting on the tide to shift and start actually going out. And when that happens, everything's gonna pick up. Oh, trick is you gotta go nice and slow. I'm finding this out. Hold on, you just counted. Kimmy's was number seven. You're on number seven. Are you trying to pick this thing yeah, up? Yeah, how do you pick it up? Just grab it like a man, David. Oh my yeah. goodness. Because yesterday, Gabe told me to grab it out of the way. You. <laughs> God, it's stopping. <laughs> Why do I not have a light on this? Okay, so yesterday, Gabe told me to pick it up out of the water. And I picked it up out of the water, and it little did I know it has like a razor blade on the head of it. And it poked me right in the hand, so now I'm kind of scared to pick him up. <laughs> Hence the whole, um, the what? Feeler pickup move. <laughs> you don't like that? Where's the. It's the I don't know what you're it's doing. In the front. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even see me or not, but it's been a little slow, but we are having so much fun out here. I mean, good group of people, fun times. We're making the most of it. <laughs> you could ask for a better trip than that. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Wins the game, Jake. That's number, what are we at? Seven. Seven to nine. You got, oh, you got nine? Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Look, now I can't go. <laughs> Hair tie, that's awesome. I just met Billy tonight, but I really like her. <laughs> that is awesome. I came over here and caught my number you, 11. So technically there. that's my number, what, nine, eight? Because you stole it? I got it right there. <laughs> from right there. You were, you're not even shooting. You're just sitting there going. You missed it or got it? No, I got it. Ah, Jake wins. How does it feel to win, Jake? Uh, good, not so good. Y'all, I just got whooped by an eight-year-old. See, I'm, I'm the smarter one of the pack. It's my chicken from earlier. It's 11 o'clock at night. And it's still warm. You're about to share some with your brother-in-law. <laughs> I got honey for it too. <laughs> so, it's been slow, but it's been really fun. So I'm gonna take a little break while I'm watching the shrimp. My net's right here. Can't go wrong with this, you guys. The only thing I see you looking at is that biscuit. <laughs> with honey on it? Yeah, buddy. See, the honey's where it's at. Don't be wasting all my honey. You know, that's all you have? That's all I got. Gotta be stingy with it. Okay, so it's been slow. Gabe came the last two nights and they did really well. Tonight, it's not really our luck, but that's okay. When you are doing something that you enjoy, even if it's for the first time like me, and you're hanging out with awesome people, the entire experience is totally worth it. Um, that's probably why I like ice fishing so much is because ice fishing is about the experience. It's not really about catching fish. I mean, it is. It's so much fun to catch fish, but there's just this crazy experience. I, I don't know how to put it. You guys will know what I'm talking about if you like ice fishing. But it's the people you're with and having a good time and joking around and laughing and making the most of it. I mean, that, that makes everything in my opinion. Oh, it not get much more easier than that. So you oh. guys can see how their eyes glow. Here you go, honey. Sharing is caring. What? So I you're smoking me. Heck, I've already emptied it out once. Look right here. You, I think you just had me swim by. I don't but, know. Um, I'm not using a red light, though. Should I be? So, got some big whoppers in there. You know what? No matter what happens, I've had a great time. Meet Robert Arrington, the shrimp stealer. I was attempting to steal a shrimp. I didn't actually succeed. The shrimp and cover stealer. Oh my God, <laughs> let's not even go there. <laughs> I wake up every single night of my life with no covers on me. And then she will swear that Aria or Emma did it. It's coming your way, coming your way. Okay, coming my way, coming my way. Jake, we're gonna film you in just a second. Am I don't burn up? Yeah, I can't move it, what are you doing? I got it. <laughs> you did that, that is awesome. You want him? <laughs> <laughs> ha! Got him! <laughs> I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's my husband. <laughs> right now you're on Dear Mom, and his is Dear Me for dinner. <laughs> so you're gonna be on both. 
<laughs> What's your name? Caleb, Caleb. What's Where up, are you Caleb? from? Uh, Orlando. Do you guys see that big one right there? Yeah, I He's coming to one of us. Oh, there's a big one right there. Get him, get him, a get him. Oh! Oh! Wait, Robert Arrington, do not catch us. <laughs> no, don't. Got him, good job. good job. Hey, thanks for the teamwork. <laughs> no. Oh! You got him! Good job. There you go, buddy. Is that light. Oh. Yeah, buddy, okay. We got it. Oh, yeah, nice. That's a big one. That ends my night. There's my bountiful harvest, you guys. I'm very proud about that because that's my first time ever shrimping. And just like Rob, I'm going to do a catch clean cook and make something mm, oh so yummy with noodles and garlic butter and it's going to be so good. Um, but it is one o'clock in the morning. Jake is still out here. I have to give a huge shout out to Betty because she has the kids tonight so I could come out and have a lot of fun. But I need to get home because they're going to be up early in the morning and I got to go get them. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Okay, you guys, we are back in the kitchen. Check out all these yummy, delicious shrimp. They are whoppers. I mean, this one, look how big that is. It's huge. But I'm really excited because I love shrimp and noodles, so I'm gonna make shrimp fettuccine. I'm really excited about it. So, let's get to work. So, what you wanna do, pop the head off, pop the tail off, go in with your knife, my hands are literally so cold right now. Okay. And you, I mean, I don't know if you have to use the knife, but it, it definitely is easier. And you come in here on the back. And cut that up. See that vein right there? You're just gonna pull that vein out. And then set it off to the side and do it again. All right, so the water is boiling. And I'm really bad at overcooking noodles. I cook so many noodles. Okay, we're just picking them up. Because the girls love buttered noodles. The worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna say buttered noodles for the girls. But what I like to do when I'm cooking noodles and shrimp is cut up the shrimp in small pieces. Because otherwise you're left with all these big pieces and it doesn't like cover up the noodles nicely. So. Cut it up beforehand, you don't have to worry about it when you're getting served. Ooey gooey shrimp. Okay, so I'm just gonna salt and pepper it. Let it sit. Okay. We're making it fall in love. <laughs> you guys from DMFT will know what I'm talking about. Okay, so while I am dicing this up, Rob just said um, that our lemons are good on the back tree, so he's gonna go pick me one for my dish. So this is actually a rental house, and they have these wild lemon trees in the back. They have the most amazing flavor ever. You can make like lemonade out of them, but you can also use it when you're cooking. I got butter rolling, and it is very, very hot. Right now. Now let's add our shrimp. That looks so yummy. So David just said he had no idea seafood changes colors. Yes, it changes colors. It goes from this like raw blah color to a nice pink red color. That's how you know it's cooked. So you can see right now it's starting to change color. That is what you want. It is not weird, that's what it's supposed to do. So my shrimp is cooked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it off the side and get my noodles away. So I am gonna put some of these noodles back in its own yummy butter. Okay. This is baby arugula. And we are gonna add some until it gets nice and wealthy. There's a lot of yumminess going on in this dish. That is Parmesan cheese, by the way, if you guys are wondering. I 
would not be from Wisconsin if I did not add cheese to my dish. We are waiting for this arugula to wilt down and then we are gonna add our shrimp into this yummy mixture. All right, so the arugula is wilted, so we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp goodness onto it. I mean, that does not look good, that looks so yummy. David, does that look yummy? My non-shrimp eater? Yep. <laughs> Honey, what do you think? It looks great. I mean, that, that looks phenomenal. Great. This smells so good. Oh, that looks so good. Sarah? Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's say the blessing. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for a wonderful night out shrimp. Thank you for this great lunch. Please be with us and guys, keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm really excited to dig into this. For sure. I have never made anything with noodles with fresh shrimp that we just caught. Like I'm really excited about eating this right now. We told him we're cutting it the exact same. Hey, I know we totally not like Sicilian or anything. <laughs> Two Give me a steak knife with my pasta. Oh, <laughs> right? No, we have any spoons. Okay, what do you think? Oh, so right off the bat, the first thing you see is how mm. solid the shrimp is. And it's got That shrimp. Mm, super robust, like big flavor. I could have even used more lemon. Like, I thought I was over, over empowering it. I could use more. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That last bite was good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you approve? That was awesome. This was very, very, very good. It's not too heavy, but um, tons of great flavor. I love that you put the arugula in it. That, Huge deal. The wild, you know, the wild lemon adds a lot. Mm -hmm. But that does. You know what they say? You can't make chicken salad out of chicken poop, no matter how much <laughs> mayonnaise you put in it. And that means, without good ingredients, you can't make good food. You've got great ingredients. You threw your love touch on it. And we got a magical meal. I am big on like noodly dishes. Rob likes the meat and potatoes. I love pasta and noodles and carbs and everything that I should not be eating. I love it. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We had so much fun last night. Huge shout out to Blue Gabe and Betty Arrington, my mother-in-law, for watching the kiddos. They're still over there right now so I can finish this video for you guys. But hopefully, I will be doing more Catch Clean Cooks. I'm totally still in Rob's lingo. For you guys coming up, I'm really excited about the content and I got huge surprises on a new website that will be coming out in the near future. So stay tuned, hang tight, subscribe if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up because you can't comment below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!